We told you a couple weeks ago, every single day between now and the first round of the NFL Draft on Thursday, April 28th, you will get... It's time for... Draft Talk. Draft Talk. And the latest CBSSports.com mock draft. Saw this one yesterday. Has Seattle trading up to take Malik Willis fifth overall. Kenny Pickett going sixth to Carolina. Steelers stay put at 20. They take Trevor Penning, the uh, Northern Iowa offensive lineman. And the next QB doesn't go off the board until the 27th pick of the first round. Desmond Ritter to... Pittsburgh Steelers trading back into the first round with Tampa. I don't know how realistic that is because we know how much they value their draft capital, and I don't see them foisting a bunch of picks off in the Buccaneers' direction in order to move up, what, 25 spots and back into the first round. But that's that's the latest CBS Sports now, mock draft. Can I get back to what, what, I, what was one of my first inclinations through all of this? Mm-hmm. And I still hold. Is it? Because now there's rumblings that he leaked out of the first round. Now he's coming back into the first round after all his senior day or after his his testing and all that kind of stuff. Wouldn't it – is there a general fear of taking a defensive back, in particular a cornerback? I have liked Kair Elam since I watched him play at Florida. Wouldn't he fit a perfect need for the Pittsburgh Steelers and as a cover corner, as a guy that is – uh, six two, almost two hundred pounds. Uh, rangy kind of guy. Rangy, you always get rangy. That's one of those words that you hear associated with a corner. You don't hear it any other. Th- what else do you hear that with? Like a gazelle when you're watching those national center fielders. Geogra- center fielders uh, yeah. can be Good rangy. Call. Good call. Or an short stops, middle infielders yeah. can be rangy, and then a cornerback. Yeah. That's it. But Kyir Elam, you know, I watched a lot of SEC football this year. He is good. Is there a true fear? If, let's say he's available there, mm-hmm. and they we all know they need corners, right? Like, I'm not imagining that. They need cornerbacks. Is there a, is there a fear internally that we can't do this because we always screw it up? I, I, I would hope not. I would, but, I would hope that's not their thinking. But I wonder if it truly is. Uh, it's my thinking. It, <laughs> like, it's everybody's who consumes the Steelers. I, 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 I don't trust that but they can I have get not on seen a first one, round or early round corner. Mock draft. He's taken just all around the Steelers, but I've not seen one mock draft where the Steelers take him. Why is that? I mean, I have seen some here and there, few and farther between, though, uh, where they do take a corner. Um, I saw one yesterday, the draft network, I think it was, that you posted, Matt, where they took a safety. Um, wide receiver has become more popular. But now you're also seeing in mock drafts runs on the wide receiver position in like the tens and teens, that those spots before you get around to the Steelers. And they're not trading up to get a wide receiver, that's for sure. Um, so I, it might just come all the way back around to where we started, Colin, which is what the CBS Sports mock draft started with, which was Trevor Penning at number 20 or an offensive lineman of, of similar stature, right? Offensive line at 20. And you continue to build what was the weakest spot on your roster last year. Now, they do need to get a wide receiver. I'm not going to argue that fact. If one happens to fall to them in the first round, I'd be tempted to go in on a wide receiver. Uh, But corner is an important spot, too, as is obviously, like I said, offensive line. I just don't see them trading. You know, it's it's a nice thought. Okay to get people fired up over a mock draft to say, no, the Steelers are going to trade all the way back into the first round. What are you going to give well, up? You're going to give up probably a, at least a second next year, if not a second and another pick or a first, to to move back into the first round to get Desmond Ritter. I like Desmond Ritter. I think he's a decent quarterback. He's not a guy I'm trading back into the first round to get. I don't think Kevin Colbert to get the 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 parting gift that Kevin Colbert gives the Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't think is going to be a small school guy. I just – because they never do that. Outside of Ben and outside of Troy Edwards, they just don't do that. You look at their draft picks in the first round, it's Alabama, Notre Dame. Well, Notre Dame was their first pick, but not a first-round pick. Michigan, Virginia Tech, Wisconsin, Miami, Kentucky, Ohio State, Georgia, mm-hmm. Stanford, uh, Ohio State, Florida, M- Missouri, Illinois, Florida State, Ohio State, Virginia. Like, they take big school people. SC with Troy. Uh, Auburn, Kendall Simmons, like they take big school guys. Casey Hampton at Texas. I, I, it's just not in Kevin Colbert's mold 
to take a small school guy. Now, he did with the quarterback, which for me is much different. That's the quarterback. That's identifiable. That is a different skill. They got burned by Troy Edwards at Louisiana Tech. They Yeah, and there's a ton of questions because you don't know who right. Penning has played against. Or more accurately, you know who he's played against, and it's not the same level of competition. I just And I think that Kevin Colbert, if he stands there and he, and he looks in the mirror and he goes, Kevin? You think he ever says that? Kevin? No, Kevin does not talk to himself in the Kevin. Mirror. So in the station is If he st- does, he doesn't address himself by name. You think he has a nickname for himself? Hey, Chico. <laughs> or something like that. But it, it, I think if he looks in the mirror hey, and he goes, dog. and he's trying to come to a realization as to his future in the end, in this, not the end in total, like that sign on 28, but like his end is the Steelers guy here. And he says, if it's going to go wrong, or if I'm going to really hedge my bets here, I'd much rather leave them with a guy from the SEC or the Big Ten, and then I, hey, look, he was good, then take a flyer on a kid from Northern Iowa. Yeah, I I, I just, I I think that there's a confidence level there. But if you get to that point, if you get to 20, right, and that's the best offensive lineman left on the board, and maybe there isn't a corner that you like or a wide receiver that you like, and you've decided we're not drafting a, a quarterback in this spot because the ones we liked are off the board, then if that's the guy that makes sense, that's the guy that makes sense. I'm not going to sweat whether he played at Northern Iowa or he played at Alabama or anywhere in between. I wouldn't take the lineman from Northern Iowa. I just wouldn't. I wouldn't take two things. I wouldn't take the lineman from Northern Iowa, okay. and I wouldn't take a quarterback at all. How would we – so this is the other question I wanted to ask. When we build that scenario, uh-huh. we didn't build it. CBS Sports built it, and we're reacting to it. Right. Trading back up. And let me – I want to make sure I get the details of what their prospective trade That's what be. they do. And then Mel Kuyper goes, oh, we've got a trade. Uh, oh, and then somebody hands him a paper. Yeah, yes. and then somebody reads it off a card. Yes. Uh, with the 27th pick in the uh, NFL draft, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers trade to the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, – the 27th overall pick, and the Pittsburgh Steelers in return trade a second rounder next year. And is that all it's going to take? If it if if it if it's just that if you're trading a second round draft pick, okay, and this year's second round draft pick, right, both of them, to move up to 27 to get back into the first round, okay, and they draft a quarterback, and let's say it's Desmond Ritter, how would you evaluate that? What would you say on Friday morning when we walk in? Well, you re- everything is just a crapshoot because you yeah. don't know. The guy could end up being Tom Brady. But I would say I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have taken a quarterback. I think there'd be better value in taking a alignment, somebody that could help you in that same spot, could potentially help you sooner and help you more than a second-tier quarterback. That second-tier in a draft full of all second-tier quarterbacks. Right. And, and I'm, I've, I've been slightly more quarterback thirsty than you through this offseason, but not to the point where if that were to happen, if it were to play out like that, I'd be like, I'm not necessarily a fan of this moving back up to get Desmond Ritter. It, it, it's just it's it's not the move that I would make. 